A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So as you can see it's already a half past four in the morning. It's been a really long time since I've been on the save because I've been having so much fun on the Ravenhurst multiplayer server. Uh, but yeah guys we are already getting like nemesis zombies and boss zombies and stuff. There are nemesis zombies that are medium height. They are basically as tall as like their heads touch right there. And then we have nemesis zombies that are on fire. And they stand from there and their heads reach over this. So yeah, that was an experience facing that in the multiplayer server. Uh, there's also just like bosses and nemesis zombies and, and, and. So we need better gear. We need to make sure we have rad removers on all of it. And then I am thinking of making a new base. At the moment, this is eight blocks up. It needs to be 11 for the zombies not to aggro. Although I think since it's here and they're falling there, that's about 11 blocks away. They don't aggro as much. But as you can see, they stand on top of each other's heads over there and do that. So either I need to add a second walkway as well to force them to take both and fall down and make another staircase there so they are actually climbing both. Or I have to just make a new base from scratch, which isn't that difficult. Uh, we have a design in multiplayer that works really, really, really well. Although it's just going to cost me so many blocks to make. Let me just check over here. Other resources, building... We have cobble and concrete and stuff, but I need to make way more concrete. Also, um, uh, one of my members, Brandon, I think, uh, said, why don't I just make more of these? You can actually now make the dew collector thingies, uh, filters, filter. Yep. Yeah. You can make the water filters and you can make your own. And it's actually pretty cheap to make, as you can see as well. So if I can make more dew collectors, get like a steady source of three, 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 three. If I have 10 collectors, I can get 30 water. And with 30 water, we can make murky water and we can make some more concrete that way. What are we lacking at the moment? Murky water. Yeah, look at that. It's just murky water at the moment. We have all the other resources because I've been mining like crazy. And then also, I have a little bit of surprise for you guys. Da, 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 da. I've been using this on the server and man, oh man, is it powerful. We're going to do this. 891, which means it can take four mods. Do we have a scope? Please tell me yes. I'm so used to using the times four scope. Times eight, times eight. Oof. Do I have the scope schematic? Please tell me yes. Whoops. Scope schematic. Yes. Okay. Uh, Polymers, forged steel. Okay, we need 10 forged steel. Also, the way I got this, guys, remember, we needed steel to be able to make it. I just wrenched uh, street lamps. You can see the street lamps are missing over here. And there's one uh, missing at the back over here. I completely forgot that you can just wrench these things for steel. So I need six steel. I need to make the scope. I'm going to show you guys this. Look at that. Three shots. Now all we do is go over here. Jump. Boom. Boom. And boom. I have to make sure we actually get our, uh, the bolts back. Because these bolts... Yeah, you go through... Oops. And that's another thing. I usually click to reload. I'm going to have to start doing, um, oh, zombies. Look at all these zombies over here. Yeah, I usually click to reload, but I'm going to have to start using the R button to reload because now you have three shots. So you think you have to reload by clicking and in the meantime you shoot, but you waste all your ammo. But look how much easier it is than not having to reload in between each, every shot. This is awesome. I wonder if this was a wandering horde because there's zombies standing over there. How close can I get to here? Crap, I wanted those lights. Also, to make the buggy, where's my vehicles on this one? Uh, buggy, 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 buggy. Okay, cool, I have it unlocked. But the buggy is so cheap, guys. A motorcycle, look at this. Motorcycle is insanely expensive. 225 steel plus 7 steel. But if you go for the buggy... All you need are the are the 50 steel over here, and the accessories you get like this. So these ones you see laying around, take your crowbar, smack them, and you pick them up. These are the parts you need for the uh, for the buggy. And the problem is, even if you have a full hazmat gear, you can't go to the wasteland. Apparently, you need the armored uh, uh, hazmat. So if you go hazmat over here, this one, you can go into tier five for your eyes. This one, you can go to the Wasteland. It's even called Wasteland Pants and stuff. 
filters? Do we have any filters? Yeah, we have five. So if I can make dew collectors now. Dew collectors. What do we need? Duct tape. A lot of, lot of duct tape. Okay, scope. Times four, two minutes. Ooh, that's a little bit of a while. I also have to make sure that we are mass producing arrows. Because you go through arrows like it's nothing. So put these away, put these away. We do have some iron bolts left over here. So all I need to do is make myself the fine shafts. Resources. No, not fine shafts. Fine shafts are super uh, for the steel crossbows. So we need to look for the wood, which is over here. We have this. We just need feathers. The more feathers we have, the more sticks we can make. The more stick, uh, uh, sticks. No, no, the more feathers we have. The more we can combine feathers and the sticks to be able to make the shafts. Arrow shafts. And the more arrow shafts we have, we can combine them with these heads over here. So I just have to make sure I make every uh, shot count so we don't waste the resources and just run through them in no time. Basically, everything else is super, super high. So I need to focus on getting murky water. You get way more empty jars and stuff now in this update. So as long as I keep looting and keep clearing places, we should be fine. I should probably also go back to Tesco and loot all those shelves. Because there's more chance, uh, like I said, now for other stuff as well. I see there is glue. Yeah, there was. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I looked at the wrong thing. It's not glue that I need to make. It's duct tape. I don't need that to be able to make the dew collector, right? There's no glue involved. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, we can actually split that into a little... Or 10 year. We'll keep one glue. 10 year. 10 year. We have some more ammo. I'm making sure we constantly have ammo right now because we're going to need it. And then Molotovs, I should probably make for Horde Knight. We're running out of what? Gas right now. Let's make 20. The last Horde Knight, we had so many Molotovs going. It was insane. It was awesome. But at the same time, we wasted so much resources going for that. The amount of Molotovs we had to tear through just to be able to be safe is insane. Okay, old cash we have to sell. This I'm going to keep on me. I'm keeping these on me because we do face more and more and more and more bosses these days. And then that should be done. Dew collector. Dew. Oh, it's seven duct tape. Okay. That. There you go. Okay, so in 40 seconds, we'll have more dew collectors. Um, I am going to waste a little bit of this over here. Because I want to make sure we can actually go and have a floor to put it on. I should probably also put it over here at the back. Because if the zombies are vomiting over here, they're going to hit this so badly. Unless we just put a wall over here. During the last Horde Knight, there was a lot of vomit going past these collectors over here. So it's going to take one Horde Knight and it's going to go and ruin all of my dew collectors. I should probably also make sure that I have a whole wall going around this place. Like at least this tall all the way. So that zombies from outside, from downstairs, can't see and vomit at me. Two, three... For some reason, the dogs, my aunt and uncle dogs and our dogs are just not getting along anymore. They keep fighting over, I think it's predominancy. But man, do they fight over like the smallest of things. Okay, so now we just grab the Duke collectors. And we fill these up. I wonder if they can fill up under bars. Will they register that there's a bar above them? Or will they say, okay, cool, no, but uh, we can sense through the bars, it's fine. Still supposed to be a wall. No, that is part of the wall. The one back. Oh, yeah, this thing's in the way. I'm gonna have to break that down. But now, ah, oh, damn it. I'll just have to put it next to each other over here. See, that one has to move. That one's in the way slightly. And then this can't be placed because of this over here. Okay, so I waste the blocks over there. I'll have to put these over here. See, see how easy it is to waste your blocks or to use up all your blocks. I thought I still had left and now, boom, nothing. But I need these. I need the water they produce. Without enough murky water, we can't make con uh, cobble or concrete. The nice thing now is, though, we'll have a ton of concrete when we get back. Just put that there. Okay, so we're just going to lock these. Do I have any quests active? No, so I have to go back to the trader. Till the land is actually quite easy. And you also get a blue paper like this when you're done. So we have the journal somewhere over here. We have that. 
And then as soon as we're done with the bow, we're going to get a brown paper. And then as soon as you have the other research desk that you can get from a tier 5 loot, you'll be able to go and get yourself um, another class, apparently. So our goal right now is supposed to get us, we're supposed to get to other classes too. A melee class. Okay, for some reason we're getting really unlucky with this. We need a helmet. Uh, on the server we have more helmets than anything else. So yeah, it seems it's all about luck. Food and drink. Let's just see if the trader has something for us. Uh, yeah, the XP elixir we can save for Ward Knight. Do we have any points to spend? Two. Let me just see. Bows. Oh, look at that. I'm almost able to go for the mag bow. Although that's not really necessary at the moment. For the mag bow, you need like a titanium or, so, or tungsten or something to unlock. And for that, you have to go to the wasteland. We are not close to that. So rather save your points. Go for like magnums and stuff. Spear crafting. Iron spear. Robotics. Blades. What's this blade? Machete. No. Blunt weapons. Oh, okay. That's... Oh, uh, wait. Blunt is a BA. Okay, cool. Blades of 51. Salvage tools. It's funny, my repair tools on the server is almost like 100. I think it's like 83 out of 100. But yeah, I haven't really been using this stuff, so now I'm kind of a little bit screwed. I think I should probably save it for this over here. But apparently the auger really, really, really sucks. So I wonder if I shouldn't just then save points and go for these things over here. Because we need more healing, we need more... Like our legs need to heal and stuff the whole time. Or we can go for more sneak damage. Especially since we... Uh, the, guys, this mod is all about sneaking. From the shadows... Yeah, let's go for this one. The more we can sneak, the better right now. Because the zombies are not allowed to see or hear us. And then the moment we can make some concrete, I'm thinking of just repairing the stairs uh, slightly. And then making new stairs on the left side. And then from there, we can just go and make ourselves a new base. I'll make it in the field over here or something. It needs to be open where there's no vehicles. These are these vehicles. Uh, vehicles respawn in this mod. So you, you stand a chance of vehicles and trees and stuff. Even trees, I think sometimes. Um, can respawn in your base, and that just sucks. Okay, let's see. Like a smoothie, drinks, water. Yes. We're going to have to buy more and more and more of this water, because this can go for glue, and then we can use them, uh, the murky water for ourselves. If I have to make water out of murky water, that just well, costs you, us. More water. It's a shame you don't sell murky water. Also, armored up. Oh, that's you max. I'm going to see this quickly. Guy. Military. Yeah, we can make level 901 military gear. Obviously, it's more duct tape and stuff, but it's super, super worth it. At the moment, I made myself at level 800 and something. So it's four mods. I wonder if 901 is five mods or not. I should actually just check the knife. I think the knife's also just four or five. Okay, anyways. Uh, explosive magazine. Water. Forge your head. It's weird in my single player, I'm way further with books than in multiplayer. But in multiplayer, like you're, you're like building bases, doing quests together and stuff. So all of that stuff also takes time. I think stuff that I know I'm going to need later, I should probably start buying right now. Food, nothing there. Awards, I should probably just see if I can't... Okay, hazmat pan, 6,000. Yeah, that's another thing. We have to go to all the traders every now and then and see Let's if they have lodge, anything traders. for us in regards to that. Okay, so buggy. Do that and grab a quest over here. Ultra infested, unique family farms. Yeah, okay, let's go for this. Would you be careful though? Remember, uh, like I said, uh, these infested, especially these hyper ones, they up your game stage. So if you're not careful, you will get nemesis and boss zombies and stuff interfering because your game stage is super, super high. I thought those guys were feral just now. Uh, so we have to go this way. Oh, super close by. Nice. It's funny. All of these infesters are more or less close to each other. Just the other day, we did an infested over here. Yep, we did an infested over here, uh, and there was like a uh, um, nemesis zombies at the back of the raid one. Hello, hello, hello. See, I could just wait for Ward Knight to get all my kills in, but doing these quests will also allow me to get them. Okay, so usually I think there's a piggy over here in the field.
Any red dots? Nope. We have to be careful of Nemesis zombies and stuff walking around the uh, vicinity. The funny thing is, uh, when we went for the tool shop, when I was on the roof trying to get to uh, shoot the zombies through the roof, uh, <laughs> someone pointed out, and I also saw this in editing, that I only noticed the Nemesis zombie really, really late. The Nemesis zombie was there the whole time, and I, I only noticed the Nemesis zombie when I looked again. So before I climbed the roof, I could see him, but I didn't notice him. And then as soon as I was on the roof, I was like, oh, look at that. Behind the trees, there's a zombie. But meanwhile, he was so much closer the whole time. We have to be careful. If there is a nemesis zombie or something, we're going to have to stop their regen and sh uh, light them up with an AK. I should probably not be walking around like this. Let's go inside. Let us go inside. Okay, so. I think he's usually one around the corner to the right. I have the stealth boots on. Thanks to the stealth boots, I'm able to do some damage really, really nicely. Okay, since we bought stuff from the trader, I always say this, but yeah, I want to clear this place first. There's a zombie right here around the corner. Even the zombies outside, I don't want them seeing my light right now. Sounds like there's a big one outside. The thing is, on my uh, multiplayer server, we went inside the Cracker Book, and when we looked out, there was the Nemesis zombie that looks like Venom. Like one of the medium tall, tall, tall Nemesis zombies. And that was terrifying. He actually came inside, and he, uh, when we ran away, I had to take his, uh, get his attention, and he ended up smacking me off my bike without me even realizing what was going on. Okay, books... The only reason I always say, oh, don't loot, uh, I shouldn't loot, and then I loot the books, is because you might get a schematic or something that you don't know yet. If you have to run all of a sudden due to whatever reason, you want to make sure that you at least have the books on you. Okay, I have to come back for the toilet. Or the murky water that might be possibly there. Oh, I was wondering what the hell is making that noise. I thought, because I heard Woods getting smacked and I thought I saw a silhouette outside, I thought it was a nemesis zombie attacking the building. Because our game stage is 352. Feel all the things making noise, so we don't think that's another zombie or something. Okay, this is the final stash up top, and then we still have to go for the farm itself. This is where it can get a little bit dangerous. Yep, all of these already woke up. Let's go back. Come on, fall down. As long as you guys aren't feral, I'm good. I'm good, 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 good. Oh, it's his return. Wasn't there anything inside the farm? Or do the animals inside the farm not count? Okay, that's a surprise to me. I thought there's going to be more zombies to kill. Although now game stage has dropped again, so that's awesome. We don't have to worry. At night time, though, we're going to get way more bosses. It's funny, on the server, we're getting bosses during daytime. Even though our game stages are all under like 200. But I think it's because it's co uh, collectively we have just way too much game stage. So since you're in a team, the game stage in the area is just way too bloody high. Okay, so let's see what you have. 
I think it actually has to be a proper tier 5 building for us to be able to get any hazmat stuff. Although ergonomic grips and ammo and stuff is really going to come in handy during Horde Night. But yeah, we need actual hazmat stuff right now. So I wonder if I shouldn't try a tier 5. No, but tier 5 is going to be radiated. It has to be tier 5 infested. Because then it's a tier 4 building. Super infested and ultra infested, all of these are at like tier 2 and 3 buildings. But the amount of zombies inside are, is like way more. Okay, and don't have enough space. Um, see, this is the problem now. When I uh, This is why I need a buggy or something to have way more space on me. I just have to go grab all the stuff outside or inside the house. And being as encumbered as I am right now, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Might be something good. Eh, it's okay. Also, we can make a chicken coop if we put it. Uh, I think it's three chickens and two roosters. If we put those together, we can get a chicken coop. I should probably work towards that as soon as possible right now. There's so many zombies alive in the area that we have to be careful. We're constantly just hearing stuff sm getting smacked about all over. I thought that one broke in just now because I know there are doors at the back of here. But yeah, we're constantly hearing like just smacking wo uh, wood and stuff. So I have to be careful they don't break in and there's like a feral horde or something. Post and stuff should be in there. Technically, if you go and harvest all of these over here. On a server, I like going for these and these. Anyone that's still closed, which isn't an option right now, I don't destroy. Even if you can get nails from them, because someone else might be able to later quickly just run in, grab some stuff out of the cupboard and go. Not all the cupboards open up after you've looted them. I mean... Okay, so... I think I've basically grabbed everything that I'm supposed to grab. Even upstairs. Oh yeah, that one toilet upstairs. That's about it. I think as far as I'm aware, I've grabbed everything else. But yeah, this toilet, we have to make sure we're constantly, constantly, constantly grabbing all the murky water that we can find. Although it's mostly just this inside. <laughs> you, you could put that in the compost actually and get some uh, compost out. That's not totally useless, but at the same time, do you really want to take a chance on that stuff? Just now it makes you super uber sick. Okay, let's go back to the trade. Uh, first, we have to go back to the base and drop stuff off. Because unfortunately, we are a little bit encumbered. And then we have to go to the trader. We need some uh, springs over here. Yes. Uh, we have to go to the trader after that and hand this in and see if we can't get another job. What's bag? Hello. Um, Scrap that. Okay, yeah. Let's go drop stuff off and then go to the trader. Every now and then there's so much lag over here that I just feel like there's a massive wandering horde somewhere. It's weird, I even went on, because I saw on the server that was also causing problems. Over here I actually went and lowered the max alive from 80 to 64. For horde nights we'll put it up to 100 because of that 96 horde modlet. But yeah, the, the overall lag improves a lot if you actually go and lower the max alive zombies. And yet still, you can barely feel a difference between 64 and 80 zombies with the amount of zombies spawning. It's absolutely insane how just zombie, zombie, zombie. Okay, we have a ton of iron over here. We should start smelting that into the blacksmith's forge. Because as soon as we actually find the carbon, which I now know what it looks like. As soon as we find the carbon, we can actually easily go and make ourselves way, way, way more steel. We're going to need a lot of steel later. Okay, vehicles go over here. And it's going to go over here. And then I want to see... Yeah, let's just see. Cell box, there's nothing. Oh. One, two, three. One, two, three. Although I don't think he's going to take more. Oh, this is a wandering horde. I knew it because of all that lag. So, let's really do this. The nice thing is, now I can use the XP elixir. Come on. Do this. Oh, okay, the vehicle. How did he get stuck over there? I didn't move it that far. Only problem now is, yeah, that floor was broken. Um, damn, I just realized that was broken. So I need to add more stairs over there so it's easier to hit them all with a Molotov. I want to see if I can't get as many zombies up here with this XP elixir now as possible. There should be a little bit more around the back, I think, as well. That doesn't seem like a wandering ward. That just seems like random zombies. Nice group over there. Uh, a little bit of a small group over there. 
Okay, these should burn to death because of the Molotov. I don't want to use all of them up. Because we know we're going to need it for the Horde Knight itself. I knew, when I felt that much stat, I was like, damn, that, that can't just be normal spawn. And nope, it was not. Some of these zombies are tough though. They don't just burn from the first one. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's use one more. I almost forgot just now. Did I have the right weapon in my hands? I don't think so. I have to kill zombies with my bow for the quest. And I don't think I had the bow in my hand just now when I was burning them. Okay, all of them on fire. Do this before they die. Quest, archery training. Eh, I don't, I don't know how many kills I had. But as they die now, you can see it's going up. I don't really have to use the bow anymore uh, for like the usage skill because we're almost at 100 anyways. And as I clear up your eyes, we'll get more anyways. Uh, did I get any more feathers just? I did, right? So every time I come here, I have to make sure we are making ourselves a ton of arrow shafts. Boom. Okay, let's go to the trader, hand this in, and then see what the next quest is going to be. Okay, it seems that part of the Wandering Horde... Followers, the, uh, followers of, yeah, I was able to kill Mo one shot, take his arm off, and then kill him one shot. Nice. See, this repeater bow, guys, as, that's why stealth in this mod is super important. And that's why I feel like going for this class early game is the best choice. Because if you go for this class, you don't have to worry about your um, stealth and stuff. You don't have to worry about killing zombies. Although, obviously, when the, a lot of them wake up and you only have a bow, it doesn't work out that well for you. But other than that... Awesome. Okay. Any more jobs? Let's see. Super infested. Let's see, but it's a tier 2 POI. These POIs need to be tier 4 and 5. I'll do it anyways, because we have to make sure we get that uh, up as much as possible. Super infestation. Let's go. The rewards at least aren't bad. Oh, I need to try and sell this to you. Oh, we're probably also going to have to go and drop off. Yeah. Um, I still have ammo on my vehicle. Completely forgot about the ammo. So I need to go first drop that off at the base and then we go for the tier 5 super infested. It's a shame, like I said, tier 5's, uh, the super infesteds aren't on the server. Normal infesteds are, but super and ultra infesteds, because there are uh, so many more zombies, it's going to break the server, I think. But on single player, yeah, like I said, the, uh, normal infesteds, there are so many of them. Although that's actually like tier 5 buildings. Tier 4 and 5 buildings. Ooh, okay, yeah, this is another horde. I have my XP elixir left, so I wonder if I shouldn't just really take them uh, down. Can't interfere anymore, right? Right? Okay. Let's do this. Careful of any nemesis zombies spawning in the vicinity. This is Jen's place, by the way. This is really awesome. Okay, there's going to be zombies up top, and there's going to be zombies downstairs, so we have to be careful of either. As long as all the dots don't start moving at the same time, we're fine. That zombie's either above us, trying to get down, or it's underneath over here. And that's above us. We don't have to worry about anything above us. I 
think there's a ladder over this side, just like in another space. Yep. As long as there's no bunker like with Anna's place, we should be golden over here. Also, these backpacks, guys, on the server, I got so lucky. In one stream, I was able to get four Hitchhiker's backpacks in one... Uh, it, was, it was awesome. Don't know how the hell I got that lucky, but I got super duper lucky. Definitely red uh, dots moving all over, so I need to be careful. I see feet to the left over there, so that's definitely a lady waiting. One short. One short again. The cop's gonna be a problem if you don't take him out, he's gonna start a fire. One shot. Boom. With a steel bolt, you can even take down a bear. A zombie bear in one shot. But unfortunately, this is iron bolts. Okay. That should be it for the zombies. Now we just have to go upstairs. This is like the grudge lady from um, Rebirth. That's awesome. See, actual tier 5 buildings will have way more radiated and feral zombies. Boom. Done. But since this is not Rebirth or whatever. Oh no, since it's not a uh, tier 5 building but a tier 2. The zombies inside are way, 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 way easier. Make sure I grab my arrows back from these. These bolts are super, super difficult to make or expensive to make. Oh, ooh, hello. That's a nice upgrade to the one I already have. Okay, now I just have to run through this place and quickly loot the rest, but I need to get into this. Oh, it's open. Oh, wow. I level, I got that level 900 fire axe without even my lucky little goggles. That's awesome. Treasures are super worth it for the amount of ammo and stuff you can find in there. Yeah, now we just loot this place and then head back to the trader. Okay, right, glasses on. Let's see, steel. We're still using steel pickaxes. Um, ooh, iron spear. Yes, nice. Now we can put a mod back on that one. And then scrap, scrap, scrap. Okay, you don't have anything else for us, but we have to get a good quest from you. Up the road. You can try looting. You have four buried supplies, buried supplies, buried supplies. That's going to give us a ton of clay, so it might be worth it. And then, yeah, let's try these ultra infaces, tier threes. But it has to be close by to us, because this is a little bit too far away. 1.9 kilometers, camp, car wall, S and gas. I wonder if I shouldn't just probably go for these. This should technically still be in our town unless this goes to Jen's town. But then it gives us a, a, a reason to go and visit her. Yeah, it gives us a reason to go visit Jen. Nice. I'm going to go back to the base, drop all of these things off. I might actually be just, uh, doing some mining during nighttime just to get uh, some stuff done. Oh, hello. So yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback. Leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my seminars that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.